Hey everybody, this is Tio from Art Geek Teaching. Today, uh, this is day four of the 100 days, and um, I wanted to do some uh, found poetry, and so um, I thought I'd first start with collaborating with um, some AI, and then go from there. So, the first thing I'm going to do is sign into Discord, and I'm going to sign into ChatGPT. We're gonna start with ChatGPT, but um, when I went to sign in, uh, to Discord, there is a challenge that sometimes pops up and I want you to see, so I just left it. Um, so you can see on my screen here that um, I hit sign in and it popped up with all of this stuff, but there's no next choice for me. There's no um, button to go ahead and accept or whatever. And so all I have to do, I know that there's typically a scroll bar on the right hand side. It doesn't show up right now, but if I just go over hold my left click and drag, then I can come down and see the authorized. Signed out of chat GPT also. We'll get that in there. Start a new one. And uh, I'm just gonna tell it what I'm doing and ask it to provide a story. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna do that. So, I've got a couple ideas. The first one, the first one is, um, I love books, I love bookstores. So I'm gonna say, uh, tell it what I'm doing first. And what I'm going to use this for, this story, um, is going to be the background where I get the words for my found poetry. There's several types of types of found poetry. Um, this type, I don't know what I'm going to start with yet, but I'm going to use this story to begin with. Here we go. Okay, there's my two stories. And um, the first thing I want to do Normally, well, I think one of them I'm going to actually do a blackout, and so um, that'll be fairly simple, but I wanted to try to do them digitally. I've not done that yet, and so uh, I think the first thing I'll do is go over to Mid Journey. Yeah, I'm going to go over to Mid Journey and uh, see if I can get a couple different things going on there. Um, let's go over to Discord. And I love books, so what I'm going to do get this back in place. All right, just kept running that and I have a couple here that I think I can use. So I really like this one. I particularly like this abstract piece. Okay, two of those. And I'm gonna try one more prompt here. And then we will move on. See what happens with this one. 
and uh, I'll just go over and download those then we'll be ready to roll I have a story and I have images to work with I'll drag them into Photoshop maybe if this continues to roll here I think what we're gonna do we need to move this whoops I'm going to start at the bottom. We need to move our stories. Uh, this is the last bookstore. We need to move the stories over to a Word document first. So I'm going to grab this. Control C. I don't have Word open. Goodness gracious. Last bookstore. I am just going to center that. Now I'll change the text. I'm going to make that text a little bit longer. Excuse me, larger, not longer. Maybe 16 point. And then we'll do the other one. Let's save that first. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. Last bookstore. And let's go to the other one here. I find it's easier to take these from the bottom. Go back to Word. This one we'll call, for lack of a better word, let's center this. And there we go. I'm going to go ahead and save these as PDFs, I think. That way I can work a little bit easier with them in Photoshop. Save as. PDF. Export to the desktop. Okay, what I did here was after I wrote the story, well, actually after ChatGPT wrote the story, I put it into a Word document. Um, then I saved it as a PDF and I printed it out. After printing it out, I just brought it out in the studio so I could shoot this kind of top down with crummy lighting. But um, I'm just going through right now and picking my words, making a poem. And uh, I, I usually do these really quickly, first time through. And um, you can always go back through and do them again. But I kind of like usually the first one is typically the best one for me. So that's all I did here chose my words, circled them, and now we'll bring it back into Photoshop. Okay. What I've done here, I just opened up three of the images that I wanted to use as a background. Um, you can see this is the book one. That, I'm going to turn that off, that is my story that I took as from my PDF. This is one of the other backgrounds. And this is the last background. So we have three different backgrounds to choose from. I'm probably going to use a combination of the two. And so what I first am going to do, and I already got it here so I can save a little time. You can see that on my screen there's, you know, most of the text from that book image is gone. And here's what that looks like, right? So it just had text image in there. And all I did, um, there's, there's a million ways to do this. But what I did was I just grabbed Kyle's Real Oils brush. You could do it with a wet blender. I mean, there's a lot of ways you could do this. I just wanted it fast. And so all I'm going to do is come over here, 
select the background color by pushing down the option key so it has that color and then I'm just I'm I'm just gonna dab All right I should have this on 100 um, it's mixing at 35 percent but I'm just gonna come over here and dab I'm gonna get rid of that text that's all I'm going to do okay it, just so that it's not competing with the text that I want to have in there okay easy pie no big deal five minute five minutes to do that you don't need to watch me do all of that now that you know how to do it okay it's pretty simple so here's my duplicated layer that has all of that off now ideally if I had a brush that I could use um, that would would be uh, like my splatter brushes that's what I would normally use for this but I just upgraded um, to Photoshop 2024 and I'm having issues getting my brushes in there so anyway long story but I'm three hours into software today and still having problems oh so, all right we're gonna go to our book not our book our article and I'm going to turn, turn off my layer. I'm just going to go in and see if I can highlight, um, maybe highlight the words. Okay, so I'm going to do that real fast. Tactile sensation was my first word. Uh, so I'm going to speed this up while you watch. I'm going to take the name, the title rather, out. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and just erase everything but what is on my list here. Okay, we can kind of see where our words are, but we're going to want to pop those out. Um, maybe make those a really light color, uh, even white. I don't know. I'm going to look at that. Let's just play with that real quick. Okay, so I just um, put a hue saturation layer on, um, and then I modified it so... I went to hue and saturation, changed that all to white, and because it is on top of this layer, that means everything up here is affecting everything that's down below. So I just want it over my layer of text or the PDF, so I'm going to hold down the option key, excuse me, the yeah, the option key, and you'll see when I do that, a little arrow comes. I'm just going to hit that, and that means now that it's only going to affect that layer right below it. So now what we have, tactile sensation, creaky wooden floors, leather-bound volumes, knowledge undeniable, debates dared, ancient paper, priceless, obscure, long-forgotten tomes, seeking solace, sanctuary, tangible, cherished, beloved, the written word, preserved. Okay, so we now have our words all over there. And so I think there's a couple different ways that we could do this. Now, it would almost be nice to have all of those other words coming through and just not quite as, um, you know, not with without as much contrast as what we have on these. So, and even these, maybe we'll go down and, 
um, just knock them down just a little bit. Kind of need them all the way up, it looks like. So I guess I'll leave them like that. But um, I think what I'll do is drag in. I should have made a copy of that. Normally, I make a copy of the layer before I do anything with it. I think I'll bring in another copy of this, and um, I'll just leave it in there, but very, very faint. At least we'll try it and see. Okay, in the end here, what I did was um, I just went ahead and went to my layer that had my... Um, sorry, the layer that... Uh, I had the document on. I imported that as you saw. I went ahead and just cut, copied rather, and then moved into this document here and pasted it. And then I knocked down the opacity. You can see here's what the opacity is at 100%. Um, I knocked it down to about 40%. I also changed the mode to um, overlay. So you can see, we're just going to go through, multiply, screen, color dodge, hard light, there's my overlay, hard light would have worked as well. Okay, so anyway, that's what we've got going with this. I've got it on overlay, I move the opacity down to about 43% and I could move that up or down. I'm on the right layer here. Move that up or down depending on what you like. I tend to like it about 40% it looked like. So um, the only other thing I'm going to do, I want a little bit of texture in this upper place here. Um, and so what I think I'll do is just go through and add, see what one of, yeah, this one's the one that I really like. I really like the lines in there, and I like this little blob over here. And so what we can do is, same thing, let's just look at the modes here real quick and go through the modes and see what they look like for us. Some of them you can't tell. That one's not too bad. Darken's okay. What is that darker color? Whoops. <laughs> darker color. Lighten screen. Soft light, not too bad. I think all the rest of these down here are not going to work. So for me, I think I probably like either darken, darken, or here, let's do this. I'm going to put this one at darken. I'm going to hit Control J, make another layer. Turn that layer off, and I'm going to move this one to, I think it was lighten, nope, darker color, I thought there was another one I like, soft light or overlay, soft light, let's look at soft light, darker color, okay, I'm going to make this one soft light. And then we're just going to go back and forth between these. Turn them both on. Okay, that is soft light. Uh, soft light. I think I like it without soft light better. And the other one was, whoops, the other one was darker, I think. i got to turn it on. Darker, darker color. I'm going to choose that one. And this one is darken. Top one's darker color. Okay, darker color or darken. Not much difference. 
Yeah. So um, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to leave it with darken. We're not going to use this one, so I could go ahead and dump it. I guess we could see. My guess is it's going to be too, too much of anything. Yeah. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump that. And really, I think that's it. Call it good. I don't mind it. I might want to turn this down a little bit. I'll see what happens. If I turn the opacity down. Yeah. So that's with it. Without it. With it. I do kind of like the extra grunge in there. So there you have it. I'm just going to save this file, save as, I don't know what I'm going to save it as, last bookstore on earth, PSD, sure, let's go to backup, and YouTube, YouTube file drop, 100 days, day 4, PSD, okay, and then what I'll do is flatten it, print it, call it good so there you go day four found poetry digital style <laughs>